everyone and welcome back to the Acumen channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the A Eagle N95 cup style respirator. We recently tested their bifold style respirator, so we're really interested to see the difference, the filtration efficiency and pressure drop between these two models. We purchased them from Amazon and here is a listing. They come in a box of 20 for $44. They also have a 3.9 out of 5 rating with 32 reviews. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these respirators before we run them through our TSI machine. So the first thing that I do notice is the texture of this is very different compared to other cup styles that we've reviewed. This is more of a soft cup style. They do come a little wrinkled. So they do seem very short lengthwise and here is how they look from the inside. They have a nose foam and the the nose wire. So let's go ahead and try these on really quick just so you can get a quick reference on how they fit my face. So like I mentioned, these are short in length. They don't go all the way, if you guys can tell. So I don't get a lot of coverage down here, which makes it not really have a seal. I have a lot of leakage down here. So these are definitely a very small size cup style mask because I can actually also feel the mask. My lips are touching the mask right now. These straps are actually not bad they aren't digging digging in and this one could be a lot tighter but it's, it's a little loose but nothing too crazy so with that being said let's go ahead and see how these tests on our tsi machine we're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop this is our tsi machine model 8130a which is also the same filtration testing machine that niosh uses to approve n95 respirators our procedure is also inspired by niosh we first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate when applying the hot melt glue we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample had a filtration efficiency percentage of 97.94% and a pressure drop of 15 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration efficiency percentage of 97.84% and a pressure drop of 15.1 millimeters of water. The last sample had a filtration efficiency percentage of 98.44% and a pressure drop of 16.6 millimeters of water. As you guys saw from the test results, these cup style N95 respirators tested well for filtration efficiency, testing around 97%, which we have seen better, but these are within the NIOSH requirements. As far as the pressure drop, these were on the higher side. We typically like to see them under 10 millimeters of water, but otherwise, like I said, they, these are still within the N95 requirements. Like I said, there's definitely better options in the market right now, and you can see all of the ones that we've tested so far on our website which is going to be linked in the description box below i really hope that you guys found this video helpful please let me know what mask we should test next in the comment section below or if you would like to send in a mask or respirator we're going to be leaving our address in the description box down below please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next video